Uh, Isaac, in a world of layoffs and firings and closings, uh, what does it mean to you when you see a company like Target go out on record to say that they're lowering prices for nearly 5,000 items? To be honest, the first thing that I think of is an omission of guilt. And, and to me, it sounds like some of these corporations are finally starting to recognize that they're losing sales because people honestly can't afford it. So me initially hearing that they're lowering the price on 5,000 of their items because of inflation doesn't surprise me by any mean, but I think they were totally okay with it until they started to see that it was negatively impacting their business. And I think that's the situation that we're in right now. I mean, we could talk about inflation. We could talk about the economy. We could talk about how the media tells us that both of those things are going in the right directions. But what we're going to talk about right now today is Target itself. We're going to go through the article discussing how Target is lowering prices on 5,000 of their items. Let's get mm -hmm. into it. So Target is cutting prices on up to 5,000 items to lure back inflation-weary shoppers. Isaac, would you define yourself as an inflation-weary shopper? Because I know I would. I think everybody has to. I think it's naive not to, right? Because even if you can say, I'm not feeling it as much, inflation's happening everywhere. And even though you might not feel it as much right this second, if it were continuing with the trend we've seen over the past few years, it's gonna catch up to everybody. So I think everybody has to at least be aware, which is basically what weary means, aware of the inflation that's happening across the board. This is such a fascinating time we live in because you've got the news media and the government telling us that inflation is in check, it's on the way down, but you've got places like Red Lobster going out of business, studios yeah. and companies are closing up shop, people getting laid off like crazy. Across that, fast food restaurants are saying things similar, like, oh, we're, we're aware that people aren't shopping because of inflation pricing, and we're, we're trying yeah. to do things about that. But now we look at Target. So if Target is now getting into this, I mean, is there a broader conversation of like, are people not spending as much money? And what are the reasons that could be behind that? I honestly think people aren't spending as much money. And I know in, in our line of work, we always talk about like, what is the average order value, right? Yes. And I, I think the basket size. Exactly. What's the basket size and how much is a person spending every time they walk in the door? And I think what Target is seeing and what they are trying to solve without saying it is that basket sizes are decreasing because people are recognizing that even though the basket size stays the same, the shopping cart stays the same, the amount that it fills up when you put it in and check out for the exact same dollar amount is significantly smaller. So I think what they're saying is they want to give people the opportunity to put more into their carts for less. And I don't think this is because big corporation just woke up and they were just, we want to be friendly. We want to be supportive yeah, and helpful. This isn't friendliness. This is not a friendly move by any means. This is a, we're under attack and we're a public company and people are expecting things from us and we need to figure out a way to deliver. This is a Hail Mary. We are hoping we can figure this out. I'm glad you put it that way. Yeah. I'm, I'm, the Hail Mary will figure this out because everybody's like suffering. Like the big oh, corporations, totally. their greed has gone far too far. And and something that I want to point out early on, and I hope it comes up as we get into the article, is sure. how often is Target a talking point with the young adult demographic anymore? And I say that because you know what is, in my mind, Costco and Aldi. A hundred percent. The places where you could go and find similar things, but that are intended for price sensitivity are the brands that are exploding right now. So, so like, is, is Target still in the zeitgeist as strongly? I carry this quarter so that I can go to Aldi at any time. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't move, so you know I had it with me. I am always ready to go to Aldi. I am always in favor of Aldi. Target, it's not there. Honestly, because what was Target known for, right? And why was the conversation there? Target was, I go for one thing and, and I, I end up thousand. spending $300. Right. You can't afford to do it anymore unless it's you're not. deciding to not eat or not pay rent or not pay certain bills. So if people can't just go in and have the discretionary income to throw at whatever, they need to stop themselves from going there altogether, which then removes Target from the conversation altogether. 
and it's not like you just said, like you go in for something uh, and you think it's it's going to be one price and it's three hundred dollars. It's not yeah. anymore. Now it's five or six hundred dollars. Exactly. So it's not even it's not even a possibility that right. they're going to do that. It, it stuck with me. I go to Target and I let Target tell me what I need. Like, yep. that does not exist anymore. Well, when's the last time you remember doing that? Honestly, for me, I would say it was 2019, 2020. Oh, not, even not further even that before tw- that. Honestly, it was probably 2020. I remember being in North Carolina and going to the Target there. And and that was probably the last time where I was like, you know what? I don't know what I need. I'm just going to walk around and figure it out. I, I only go to Target if I need a specific thing that I can only get from Target specifically. Would prefer not to go there. And don't even get me started on Walmart, which is just oh, I will yeah. avoid like the plague because right. it's it's run down and destroyed. All of the ones that are by me, even the ones that are a drive away, are just yeah. miserable experiences now. The quality yeah. of the products are crap. It is destroyed. Parking is awful. And like, what's the point? Well, honestly, I remember last time we went into a Walmart together and you said, wow, this is the nicest Target I've ever been in. Because I thought we were in Target when we (laughs) walked in Sky. I was so Because it just, that's the way it went. But but I get it. So, I mean, I just want to emphasize here, and I've already said it, but Target's not being nice. They're not doing something for the consumer because they're like, we're giving back. This is not charity. This is not because they feel bad for you. This is because they are losing and they can't lose anymore. Aldi is gaining fast. Even the food places, it used to be like Wendy's, Burger King, Taco Bell, McDonald's, everybody went there, right? But now we're seeing these new ones where they're price sensitive food options and they're winning massively. Target didn't ever have to do that because of its brand reputation, but you and I had talked about it in, I think it was in the first podcast episode that we ever did. Brand loyalty is dead because it's gone. because costs are too much. So if yep. brand loyalty no longer exists, you need to find other ways to make people want to come back and they have to make things, make changes like this. Well, let's get into what some of the specifics here are and we'll tear them apart. Target has slashed prices on more than 1,500 popular items beginning immediately, ranging from butter to laundry detergent as the retailer attempts to attract inflation-weary shoppers turned off by high prices. Prices have dropped effective Monday, with thousands more price cuts amounting to 5,000 items being reduced over the summer, the retailer announced. The lower prices will aim to collectively save consumers millions of dollars on household staples and everyday items such as milk, fresh fruit, diapers, and even pet food. First thing I want to point out is I don't like that that's the main thing people go to target for now target used to be you know they have the tech they've got the 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 toys and the games they got the clothes they got the household stuff and i feel like that's the stuff that you might want to price cut no milk fresh fruit those are things i want to go to the food store for i've never seen target as my food store but i think that might just be me so i just i just want to point out uh on here really quick and this is this is aside from target but this is the validity of where you get your news from. This is still very real, regardless of what I'm about to point out. Can you scroll back up to the top, please, David? Okay. Lure back inflation weary, W-E-A-R-Y. Scroll down, please, David. Okay. Right there, last sentence of the first paragraph, inflation wary Wary. shoppers. (laughs) There's no consistency here. I'm not calling out CNN, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, (laughs) if I can figure it out and I barely graduated college, I think somebody else here should probably overcheck it too. Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? Back to the point that we are making. I completely agree with you here. I have never seen Target as a food store and it's because the food was always the most expensive portion. You know what was a, you know what was a really good food store though? Kmart. Kmart was. Kmart had a lot of different things. I don't know if they had like cold foods, but they had like everything you would need. I remember going for like every Easter, we would get all of our seasonal stuff there. And like all of our holiday stuff, we would get it there for whatever we needed. Baked goods, things like that. They Kmart were a did a target. They were. And unfortunately, there's only 11 of them left in I think the world. And, you know, most of them are in the Caribbean, so there's really not a whole lot. But they did a good job of that. And you know what I liked about them as well? And and I this is a funny, like, you're so stupid, Isaac moment. But they had what they would call, like, the blue light discount. Do you remember this? 
I do. And it was a little blue light bulb. It was a little blue light. And when I was a kid, my concept of that was I could grab whatever I want from the shelf and just bring it into the light. And if it's in the light, I get a discount on it. So, I mean, I still always try to get the discount, but they did something to at least like give discounts like that, where they made it feel like people were winning. I don't feel like I win when I go into target. I don't feel uh, you lose big time. Even if you find something that's a good price now, right? This is one that stuck out to me within the last week. I went in there and I looked at limes, right? A lime is 45 cents. And you think, wow, 45 cents, that's amazing. Two days later, I went to Aldi to get the same lime, 19 cents. Yeah, it's a big difference. Huge difference. It's a big difference, yeah. You're not winning. Food's not the answer. Put it where people need it. Sure, people need, you know, some of these things, but I don't think that this is enough to to make a difference just just off of the first two paragraphs we've we've read here i almost want to think that this position that they're taking to me doesn't feel like it's inflation at all right and and by reading the third paragraph here i'll explain why so the changes affect name brands like clorox and prime energy drink as well as its house brands its house brands to target's house brands although prices vary depending on the city target highlighted some examples with a 75 count canister of clorox wipes being reduced to five dollars from five dollars and 79 cents and one pound of unsalted butter from its good and gather brand dropping to three dollars and 79 cents from 399 if everything that they're discounting here or reducing the prices of is all household related or yeah. food related well those are things that you and i just discussed of things we don't picture target as the place to go to for that yeah. So could they potentially be making a move and then slanting it like this is inflation caused, but right. really they're just trying to break into the market share of we're also your food store? For good graces. Absolutely. Because when I read, I'll scroll up, I see here, Target is cutting prices on up to 5,000 items to lure back. Okay. Jeans are going to be cheaper. Shirts are going to, t-shirts are going to be <laughs> cheaper. You know, some of their tech stuff's going to be cheaper or are the toys going to be cheap? Like the things that, I particularly look for when I go to Target. The household goods are going to be cheaper. The live, right. laugh, love sign is going to be cheaper. No, no, no. The Clorox wipes are going to be cheaper. So that but is by a twenty cents. person. Yeah, and it's and it's by twenty cents. So so right. it's is it really? Does it make that much of a difference? No, not at all. But the thing that sticks out to me here the most is Prime Energy Drink. <laughs> These are not necessities. In fact, Prime Energy Drink was just found as in, as having forever chemicals put in the drinks now if you don't know what forever chemicals are that's not what we're here to talk about but not doctors they're not and this is not advice prime energy drinks are not safe (laughs) like by is that another (laughs) gatorade (laughs) also has forever chemicals but prime energy drink is not safe right it's not a necessity it's not one of the things that we really need so I also think we have to look at economies of scale. 5,000 sounds like a lot, but how many SKUs or how many individual products does Target actually have? I would almost venture to say that if they stacked up all of their products in all of their aisles, they've got probably 10 million products within a store, 10 million different SKUs. So when they say 5,000, people see 5,000 and think, wow, that's a lot. No, it's not. That's two aisles out of the super target, like near my house. I'm glad you brought up the point to say that like, you don't think that people shop there a lot. Almost any time I go into target, end up entering on the side where the food is simply just by the way, the parking lot is set up. There's no one there. The other side of the store has people in it. Yes. But, but almost every aisle I look down where the food is, maybe one person and never two. Yeah, I, I hate to say it, but you walk around Aldi and you're bumping shoulders with people. Oh, it's packed. You, excuse me, excuse me, excuse yeah. me. Like, and, you know, and and if you're in New York City, you're walking here. It's just the way it goes. But we don't people... say <laughs> Aldi is doing it well. They're doing a very good job. Target seems like they're missing the mark, and it it seems like they're exactly what you said, trying to position themselves as the food store that you can go to, but. 45 cents for a lime versus 19 cents for a lime is is 20 cents off of your Clorox wipes or 20 cents off of whatever it was they were talking about enough 
to attract people to completely change their shopping habits. I don't think it is. Yeah, it, it, tying this up, I, I think this is going to be a big move by Target to try to firstly, as, as we see here, for Target, the price cuts are also an attempt to turn around sales, which fell last year for the first time since 2016. Mm -hmm. I think this is an attempt to turn sales around, but also because Target is a forward thinking company most of the time, I think they're trying to go after more of a household sales market. Uh, where Target is also your food store. And I think that's that's a market share push. If you liked the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you didn't like it, I thank you for watching this long. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you have subscribed, please make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. YouTube does what YouTube does from time to time. And until next time, create, innovate, and inspire.